hey, where, hey, hey, I've got something, I've, I've got something important to tell you about these grow boxes, but I don't have any room. Hold on just a minute, let me move some of this around. All right, that's a little better, but we're kind of short on room. This is the kitchen. We're not doing a whole lot of cooking because we got swamped with orders. And if you guys ordered any of these, they're either on the way or they'll be there shortly. I've got almost everything made. I have to go out of town until Tuesday, but as soon as I get back Tuesday, that Wednesday, I'll have almost everything mailed out for the people who have already ordered. If you order after this, it's gonna take a little while longer. But for the people who have already ordered, Wednesday, priority shipping you should get it by the end of the week or early next week. So, so get ready and get your microgreens growing. Look at what we got here. So I told you we always have these growing so that whenever we get ready to plant, there's some more lettuce just like we've had. Got some mustard greens. That's the wasabi flavor in my little cup. It's cool. I got lettuce. I'll show you a little picture of that. But yeah, get ready. I've got some uh, basil planted out in one of these brand new grow boxes. Doing awesome. Um, but a couple of things I gotta show you real quick. I wanna show you what comes inside of the kit. And uh, I haven't made directions or anything to go in here. I just thought people have seen my videos, they order it, they kinda know what to do. But I forget some people from Etsy, you know, just order, they, they find my content there and they haven't really watched my YouTube channel. So I wanna let people know if you order right now, Links down in the description below, but I just want to kind of show you how to put these together. Now, you're going to get two of these grow boxes if you got the two pack, which almost everybody's gotten because they're on sale right now. So, what you're going to get is two of these downspouts. You're going to get two sample packs, two free sample packs of the nutrients, and all you have to do is mix this with five gallons of water and you're gonna have five gallons of nutrients and you have another one for another five gallons. So you're gonna have that. Uh, I've got a video, I'll put a link up above to the video on how to mix your nutrients. Very simple. It's gonna have a bunch of pool noodles in it. I'll get a scissors and show you what to do with the pool noodles. And then it's gonna have your end caps. Now, this is the important part that I needed to mention about the end caps. In our video, we had mentioned that this is going to sit up off of the ground so you have some airflow. And this little groove is offset a little bit. I'll bring you in for a close up. And what you need to do is make sure that both of the sides that are a little bit bigger go on the bottom. Now in the future, if you, you haven't got one of these yet, in the future I'll mark which one is the bottom, but let me show you because sometimes it's a little hard to see see i made like a bunch of these so you know i take it for granted because i just look at it and i just know and if you mess up on this it's not really a big deal because it's not off that much but as you can see right here see that side's a little bit bigger than that side the big side you want to put down as the bottom on both sides so your other one you'll find the side that's a little bit larger right and you put that one down so both of those will be down that way when you put this together it'll be level and move this really quick so you take that side and this is how easy these go together watch this other video over here i'll show a little clip you just want to fill this with silicon right after you fill it with silicon it just pops right on there right and the other one make sure you've got it the little side that's a little thicker goes down that way you have little feet little space that's going to set it up off the ground and as you can see it goes together really quick i put silicon tape these off let it sit now my other video i said let this sit overnight there's a lot of silicon in there and if you pick it up and it still smells like uh, vinegar i think it is what most of the silicon smells like then it's not cured you want to let that silicon cure to where there's no odor left so you might let it sit for a couple of days. It depends on how thick you put it in. And if you smear a whole bunch around here, you know, you get paranoid and you don't want, you know, stuff leaking out here. If you've got it on there really thick and it still has a little bit of an odor, you want to go ahead and let it sit before you fill it up with your nutrients. 
Now the silicone, once it cures, it's not gonna have a smell. So if you come in here and you still got that smell like when you first put it on, you don't wanna use it yet, okay? So just, just let it sit, just be patient. It only takes a couple of days and, and let it cure. So that's basically what you need to know is to take these fat side down, right? And if you put silicone on it and it still smells, you gotta let it cure. So let it, let it cure until there's no odor left. And then you can have an awesome little grow box like that. If you got the two packs, you can have two of them. You can have the nutrients. And one second, where's my scissors? And the other thing you get in there, you're gonna get a bunch of pool noodles. And you're gonna find, you know, they're bigger than the hull. All you're gonna do is take your pool noodle. And I've shown this in a bunch of other videos. Just cut your little wedge out of it, just like that. Right? Then that squeezes down to where it's smaller and it'll fit in there. And then you see that big hole, this little wedge you picked out? Just put it right in there like that. And then see that right there where you can see through it? That's what you want to do with your plants. Your plants, the leaves are going to be up here. Your roots are going to be hanging down. And you don't want to take it. And we've shown this before. And you don't want to squeeze it. And they're tender little plants, right? Don't squeeze it. If you're squeezing it too hard, go ahead and cut a little bit more out of there. Cut a little bit out of there and trim it so that you've got something like that where you can set the plant in there. You know, it can be a little snug, but don't, don't squeeze it. Okay? So that takes a little bit of practice to doing that. But once you do that, you'll be planting these out like in no time. You just pop it in there like that. And you're going to have basil growing just like this. So that's what comes in the kit. Like I said, I hope that that helps everybody who's got these already. Anybody who wants one that's on sale right now, like I said, links down in the description. And if you want the end caps like this, the thinner ones, remember worldgraceproject.org, links down there too. That goes to charity and they're making these end caps. Like I said, she's out of supplies right now. I think she said somewhere around the 23rd or 25th or something, she's gonna get more supplies in. But y'all can order those from them. It goes towards charity. If you like that, that sleeker look. And then ours is like that. And we've also got just the end caps. If you guys are handy and you just need that end cap made, we've got those on sale. If you think that you can find these at Home Depot and Lowe's and you're handy enough to use a chop saw, drill you some holes, then you don't need the whole kit. All you need is this, right? All right, you guys take care. Uh, like I said, all these orders are going out. It just blows my mind how many of you are out there growing your own food. That's just awesome. And everybody keep sharing with each other. Even if you don't buy one of these, subscribe to the channel. And there's lots of videos that show you how to make downspouts just like this. And you, you can make them yourself. So the idea is, you know, we can't feed the world, but we can teach the world how to feed itself. Alrighty, I love you guys. Lift and inspire. Keep on growing. Be the change. Alrighty, we'll catch you next time. Oh yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody who's buying the, the Be the Change merch. You guys rock. Alrighty. Catch you later. Bye. Bye -bye.